have tended a bunch of weddings since I was in grad school and I absolutely love attending weddings as a single woman. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can deal with being single at a wedding and enjoy yourself. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Alana and I am a single girl who lives in Portland and is also navigating the dating world. And if you are thinking about moving to Portland or maybe you're single navigating the dating world, go ahead and subscribe down below to join the Kitten Squad because I think you'll really like it here. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about how to enjoy being single at a wedding. Just know that attending weddings as a single individual does not have to suck. In fact, I think attending weddings as a single individual is such a fun time. And I am here to talk about all the reasons on how you can enjoy yourself being single at a wedding. So the first thing that I want to talk about is I think it's really important that you talk to the bride or the groom or whoever in the couple invited you to the wedding to see who is attending, who you know, and maybe even asking if you can sit with that person assuming that there's assigned seating. I'll be honest, of all the weddings that I've attended, there has always been at least one to two people that I know besides someone who is in the couple that's getting married. I feel like a lot of couples are very mindful about their guest list and making sure that there are going to be people that they know and that they're going to be sat with people that they know. Now, if you are attending a wedding where someone in the couple invited you and that's the only person that you know, it is going to be so important for you to get out of your comfort zone and make small talk. I know introverts, you're gonna hate me when I say this, but y'all gotta come out of your bubble. I'm sorry. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a good time if you're not talking to people. You're not soaking in that moment of a beautiful event that is celebrating two people who are in love with each other and that is what you were there for. So I'm curious to know, if you've ever attended a wedding where you didn't know a single soul other than one of the people who was getting married, comment down below and let me know what you've done. But I can tell you, I feel like this is kind of rare. I feel like you at least know one or two people at the wedding. So it's really important to make small talk. I know that can be very nauseating for people who don't like small talk or they're very introverted, but this is gonna be one of those moments where I'm gonna say suck it up because you're gonna be very bored and unhappy if you don't. It's totally fine for you to ask one of the people who invited you to the wedding if you can get an idea of who is coming so you can prepare yourself to know who you wanna to talk to. So try that out first. The second thing that I'm gonna say Obviously you guys know that I hate toxic positivity and this may come across as a little bit of toxic positivity, but it is so important to not focus on being bitter or unhappy or lonely about being single at a wedding. This day is not about you. It is about the couple that is getting married and it is a day to celebrate the love that they are going to share for the rest of their lives. If you feel like being single right now is bothering you and you know that attending a wedding would make you feel some kind of way, then my recommendation is to maybe not attend the wedding. It is so important that you stay happy for the people that are getting married. That is why people are invited to celebrate. So if you're going to be bitter and happy about being single at a wedding, then don't go because again, it's gonna lead you to having a bad time and weddings should not be a bad time. So be happy for the couple, be happy for your friend that's getting married and make sure you congratulate them and give them a hug because that is why you came, because you know that you would be supportive of celebrating their love for that day. Let's talk about the dance floor because I think this is something that can really make single people very uncomfortable. So there are a few things here. Let's say a slow song comes on, because I think this is like the most important thing that can make single people feel some kind of way because they don't have somebody to dance with and there's a very good chance you probably weren't offered a plus one. So I would say use the slow song as a way to take a break, maybe go to the bathroom during that time. Take some time to rest your feet, especially if you're wearing heels, your feet probably gotta hurt. So take some time to sit out for the silence because the slow song's only gonna be a few minutes. It's not like they're gonna be playing slow songs all throughout the whole entire evening. So use that time to maybe grab a glass of wine or some great alcoholic beverage and take a few minutes to just take a break, 
enjoy that glass of wine or freshen up in the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Or if you know of other single friends that are going to be there, grab your single buddy and dance with them during the slow song. I cannot tell you how many times I have done that at weddings. In fact, yesterday at my friend's wedding, I danced with her sister during a slow song and we had a great time. So seriously, just grab somebody if you can. Also, if the wedding allows kids, little kids love to dance with adults, especially during slow songs. So if a little kid wants to come up to you and dance with you, try to be very welcoming of it and maybe dance with the kid. I danced with the cute little girl last night. Oh, she was so precious and she gave me a hug afterwards when she said goodbye. So like that is another thing that you can consider. So now that we've gotten the slow song part out of the way, let's just talk about where you're dancing regularly. Weddings are, I feel like, a very judgment-free zone nobody's gonna focus on you just busting your dance moves out on the dance floor like an idiot we're all doing the same thing there are probably people there who are drunk on the dance floor and just getting absolute lit on the floor so dance by yourself if you have to or dance with the bride and the groom or other people that you've met at your table I'm telling you nobody is focusing on you dancing on the dance floor by yourself because Everyone is pretty much focusing on the bride or the groom or the groom and the groom or the bride and the bride or whoever the couple is that's getting married, right? So, because people are gonna be focusing on the couple that's getting married that day and not on you. So look at it that way. And also speaking of the dance floor, make sure that you grab the person who invited you to the wedding and spend some time dancing with them on the dance floor. I got to do this because you're there to celebrate your friend that is getting married. So make sure you party with them and have a good time with them. They want to celebrate with you. They want to party with you. So find some time when they're not so overwhelmed by family and friends overwhelming them. When they have a moment where they are not talking to somebody, grab them and start dancing with them and have a good time. That is something you gotta do because you would definitely at least know somebody in the wedding, right? So make sure you celebrate with them and share that moment with them. The fifth thing, one of my favorite things about wedding is the bar and the cake. So take advantage of that open bar if there's an open bar. If it's a cash bar, still take advantage of it and enjoy all the cake. I mean, cake is like my favorite part of a wedding. I love a good chocolate cake or vanilla cake. There's just something so good about wedding cakes. So enjoy that and just enjoy and savor that delicious cake. Cake's an open bar. Seriously, one of the best parts about a wedding. Take advantage of it. Of all the weddings that I've been to, they haven't been family related. So for those who are attending a wedding where you're gonna be around your family, you're probably going to get asked about like are you dating anyone or people are going to ask like why are you still single you can just say well i'm still single because i'm not in a relationship or you can tell them i just haven't met my partner yet you can also tell people hey i don't want to talk about my dating life because my dating life is not meant for your source of entertainment i think it's really important to just shut down all those questions about being single and dating especially when people try to make that about you and use your singleness as a form of entertainment we're not gonna do that anymore now of course like everyone does like hearing dating stories but at the same time your stories and your personal life is also not someone's source of entertainment so make sure that you tell family to respect your boundaries and to not focus on what your relationship status is because again this whole event is not about you it is about the couple that you are celebrating if you want to talk to them about it you can but just know that you should never feel obligated to talk about your relationship status and why you are not married or in a relationship yet. It's nobody's business but your own, so just remember that. And then finally, the last thing I would say is skip the bouquet toss or the garter toss. I personally don't really like this part about a wedding because I feel like it really calls out the people who are single or not married to expose themselves out on the dance floor and a bunch of people who are fighting to catch this bouquet or garter belt to see if it will bring them luck to find their next relationship or when they could potentially get married. I was actually really happy and surprised 
that my friend did not do this at her wedding last night. So that was really awesome. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if they just genuinely ran out of time to do this, but I kind of liked that it didn't happen. So don't let yourself get exposed by wanting to catch some bouquet of flowers or a garter that has been sitting on the bride's leg all day long. I mean, honestly, it's just not really worth it anymore and I think it's a silly little outdated tradition. I mean, if you want, if you want to catch it, that's that's your call. But I definitely don't like the idea that it calls out single people because it's not fair. Like there's nothing wrong with being single. So tell me, what are some things that you've done at weddings if you've attended them while you're single? Comment down below and let me know. And if you found that this video was really helpful and made you feel a little bit better about attending a wedding being single, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.